My name is Ben Max. I started DecideNYC.com to be a voter's guide to the 2013 New York City elections. Uh, I'm a former high school history teacher and uh, love civic education and civic engagement projects. Well, I think the biggest accomplishment we've had with DecideNYC.com is to be a resource for anyone looking for any baseline information about this election cycle in New York City politics this year. We don't do a lot of the reporting that other agencies do, but we've been a foundational resource for voters, for journalists, and just feeling like we are a, a reputable and helpful resource has been the best thing about it. Uh, the best day on the job as was probably early on when we first launched and several New York City journalists said, wow, great resource, you know, make sure you bookmark this, or, or they tweeted about it and it felt good that what I had actually been planning was, was already taking hold as a valuable resource. Well, I have a couple answers because I was definitely inspired as a teacher to kind of shift into politics, which had always been an interest of mine. And I was a political science major in college, but I went into teaching and taught high school history. Um, but I was, you know, it sounds a little corny, it sounds a little cliche, but I was definitely inspired by my students who, as I taught about politics and history, they would ask me questions about why I wasn't more involved or why I didn't, you know, switch paths. And, you know, that definitely uh, inspired me to think about doing some different things. Um, in terms of, you know, heroes, when, when I started doing this kind of political media project, um, quickly it became evident to me that all of the people that work at places like City and State and the New York Times and Capital New York and Politicker and all these amazing reporters and journalists are inspirations to me. In five years, um, wow, that's a, that's a good one. I would say in five years, um, I would love it if it still said, you know, founder and managing director of DecideNYC.com, but DecideNYC.com had grown and continued to offer opportunities for young people to get involved in, in New York City politics and media. You know, it's it's been so interesting putting so much information on the site about 240 plus candidates. We have gotten many emails from candidates and campaigns, but it's mostly very friendly, very complimentary, and it's thanks for doing a great service. Could you please add this or that? And we always miss things. So, you know, we get lots of emails from candidates and campaigns or from voters or volunteers or people who are aligned with candidates, but almost exclusively friendly and mostly just saying, hey, here's a policy point you missed, or can you add this endorsement, or, or things of that nature. I play a lot of basketball. I was a captain of the basketball team at Trinity College, and uh, it's always been a big part of what I do recreationally, so uh, that's one thing. And uh, the other is just is the education background, which you know has become evident over time, but uh, that's, a, that's a huge focus for me is caring about what's happening in education and what I'd really like to do if I'm not running DecideNYC.com or in conjunction is work to improve civic education in our schools and inspire young people to be more interested in politics and more interested in government. Um, Meryl Streep, she's, pretty, she's a pretty good actor so I'd like to see what she could do with the role. <laughs> I don't know.